So hi, Mike Kropa, Hunter here, and today I've got another viewer's uh, question concerning the upgrading of microscopes, specifically uh, about the exchanging of microscope um, objectives, and I'd like to read you out the question first. Do microscopes come with replaceable standard lenses? For instance, can I buy a 100 times objective lens from AliExpress and install it in place of the 40 times lens on my China-made microscope? Will it fit well? Well, first of all, thank you uh, for the question and the answer is not as straightforward. So I'll step you through the process. In principle, it is possible, but it depends a little bit uh, on your microscope. And uh, let me explain this. First of all, if you have a microscope with infinity uh, on optics, infinity corrected uh, optics, then my recommendation is, is that you uh, contact the manufacturer of the microscope directly and try to get uh, um, objectives from them directly because an infinity um, objectives or the infinite, there is no standard for infinity objectives uh, that uh, different microscope companies manufacture um, yeah, according to their own standard. Uh, so it is not really interchangeable. And uh, considering the fact that the infinity objectives are generally more expensive anyway, I would say just don't take the risk and contact the company directly. Most microscopes on the lower level um, end um, of the financial spectrum, so most cheaper microscopes uh, actually have the so-called 160 millimeter standard. And uh, those um, objectives you can identify because they have uh, the number 160 written on them. But this still does not mean that uh, all of these objectives are automatically interchangeable with each other. That's really an important uh, thing to consider here. They might fit physically um, into the nose piece of the microscope, but they might not optically fit. And I need to explain this. Um, even with a 160 millimeter standard, there are the so-called the long barrel and the short barrel objectives or those with a conjugate distance of 195 millimeters or those with a conjugate distance of 185 millimeters. These are a little bit shorter and you cannot mix those two even though both of them have a 160 millimeter standard. Now I don't want to go into the details of, of what this all means but just make sure um, that when you buy replacement objectives that they are definitely from the same series and you know that they're from the same series pretty sure you know it, uh, not 100%, but pretty sure, is if they look actually the same. Um, many microscopes uh, which are made in China will basically use only a few um, yeah, different uh, um, objectives. So what you can see is, is that many microscopes that you can buy will actually, even if they're from different companies or different importers, they will come with the same objectives. Uh, so because I guess there are only a handful of, of manufacturers in China that actually supply all of the different microscope companies uh, with objectives. So this means chances are pretty good that you're going to find uh, the objective of your series uh, also on AliExpress. Now, what happens if you mix um, objectives of a different series? Is this something that um, is advisable? Try to avoid it, uh, but it is possible. I've done this myself once. Um, I've bought myself a 60 times objective from a different uh, series and the pro it was it worked, <laughs> it fit, uh, but the problem is, is that you lose power focality. And this means that if you switch uh, objectives from 40 times to 60 times, you lose focus and you have to refocus. And uh, that is a problem sometimes because uh, in this case it was possible to refocus because I had to then uh, raise the stage a little bit uh, so the distance uh, was actually too large. That's not a problem really, but what happens if the distance is too short, if it's the other direction? You risk uh, hitting the stage or the slide rather when you're changing in the, the other objective if there is no par focality. Par focality means that um, you do not need to change the focus or refocus when you change the magnification. So that is a, essentially a problem um, that um, you, when, when you basically mix uh, different uh, objectives of a different series. So, and the last comment is, is uh, you want to exchange your 40 times objective with a 100 times oil immersion objective. And that is also something where I would caution you doing that. Because if you do that, then you actually have to change from, I suppose, a 10 times objective you're skipping the 100, the 40 times, and then you're going directly from 10 times to 100 times. Um, that is a large jump. And considering the fact that the um, depth of field of a 100 times uh, objective, oil immersion objective, is relatively low, um, chances are pretty good that um, yeah, you're probably not going to get it directly into focus. 
um, you're then changing directly from a 10 times uh, to 100 times and uh, then yeah so without uh, going over the 40 times generally what you do is, is you get everything centered and set up and focused using the 40 times and then you change to a 100 times oil immersion um, yeah is, is it possible to do that of course it is um, I don't know if it's the best idea but don't take my word for it try it out yourself um, I can really only recommend that and if you have a little bit of practice then sh it should also be possible um, I've as, after all I've uh, then I've got used an objective that was not par focal with the others and it also worked I simply remembered how many times I had to turn the fine focus knob to get it into focus after it changed the magnification so it is possible um, so my advice is, is go to AliExpress try to find uh, um, the objectives of the same series um, and yeah and, and take it from there there is not a lot that you can lose um, the objectives are not that expensive uh, and uh, it's it's maybe worth a try so and with that I wish you all the best happy micro hunting as always see you around next time bye bye